Is it recording? Oh, it is. It's recording. Psst. Hey, it's recording. Man, I'm not used to it still being daylight out. It's kind of crazy. Uh, this is Spawn, guys. Look at this beautiful cover. Spawn number 284 with this Matina cover. It is beautiful, gorgeous. Come check it out. We have two different versions. We have the, we have the, the regular color version and the black and white. Uh, these are going to fly off the shelves. Got to warn you now, if you don't get them tomorrow, they'll probably be gone. So come on in and get this latest issue of Spawn. Then we've got Analog. Analog's new from Image. This was a great read, guys. I really, uh, I really like this comic. Uh, it's about doxing and personal information going, going uh, public. Uh, everybody's personal information going public. This is a crazy book. Uh, it's a, it's a hitman who, uh, I guess he was the cause of everybody's personal information uh, being doxxed. Uh, and uh, he is being hired to do a particular job. It's kind of fun. It's kind of cool. Uh, there's a little guest star in it that uh, he calls the old man. Well, it's his dad. Come on, we can't get past that one. But uh, it left me wanting more by the end of this book. This is going to be my pick of the week. That's Analog, a new number one from Image by uh, Duggan and O'Sullivan. Check it out, guys. This is a really cool book. Uh, let's go ahead and go on to Avengers. Avengers Shards of Infinity. I'm guessing this has something to do with some other stone or shard or... I don't know. Shard. Uh, shard. Shard. That's a funny word. It's a funny word. Shard. Shard. I... Uh, I don't get it. Hey, it's an, it's an Avengers book, and everything is about Avengers right now because the movie's coming out. Infinity War. You know what? I'm going to get off my knees. You know, I, I spend way too much time working on my knees. Hold on. Uh, let me get up. Ah, right, there we go. Hey, yes. Shards of Infinity, number one. Go ahead and come check it out. Uh, seems like a really cool book. That's a nice, the Ron Lim variant cover there. We all know good old Ron. He's been around for a while, and he's been doing a lot of alternate covers for Marvel. Uh, we've got uh, two other different types of covers. Come and check it out and grab yourself a copy. Then we've got Batman. One night number seven. Yo, yo, one night number seven. You better get it before it's gone because it's running out the store. It's going bye-bye. I mean, it's already halfway gone. I think we've only got about 10 copies, maybe 15 copies left. Um, our subs have been yanking this one and putting it in their file. This is a hot book. I haven't told you once. I haven't told you twice. I've told you six times because this is the seventh issue. So come on in and grab yourself a copy of Batman White Knight number seven. Then we've got a new one from DC. We've got Brimstone. I've been awaiting this book because, you know, I remember the old villain Brimstone from DC. And he was a fun character. Big, tall character. You know, went up against Firestorm. I love that character. This is not your daddy's Brimstone. This is an all-new Brimstone. Pretty good introductory to the uh, or introduction to the actual character. Uh, looks like he's making a deal with like a devil, you know. Uh, Pique my interest. Gonna pick up issue number two. I think you should too. Come on in and grab a copy of Brimstone. All right, um, a new one from Marvel. We've got. How is this pronounced? Is it Iola? There you go. Iola. I S O L A. I could be pronouncing that wrong because. I'm dyslexic. Welcome to the world of not understanding single uh, words or languages, or especially when it's written like that. I can't understand it. Um, it uh, looks like a fantasy type of uh, uh, future. It looks like somebody was turned into a tiger, a princess, a prince. I'm not sure. They haven't really told you yet, but you've got to read it for yourself. Come on in and pick up a copy of uh, Iola from Image, number one. The art's pretty cool, too. If you're a fan of Saga... You're going to like this book. I really got that feeling you're going to like this book because that, that art is very similar. I know you guys all like your Fiona Staples from, from, from Saga, but this one is uh, comparable. It had really nice art, and it had tigers, green tigers with, like, neon stripes. It was really cool for that. that I love tigers. Tigers and sharks. I usually collect comic books that have tigers and or sharks on the cover. Weird. I know. Okay, let's just go ahead and go to the next book. We've got Venomized. Hey, another Venom book because, you know, what we need more is more Venom. We need a lot of Venom books. That's all we got. We got so many Venom books. This is the first issue of the uh, the new Venomized where I guess everybody's been Venomized. Didn't get a chance to read it, but why don't you come in and check it out? Maybe add it to your subscription. Maybe pick it up monthly. Not sure because, you know, it could be gone. It could leave. It could go away. 
in a goodbye. That's what it could do. I don't know. Uh, Venomized, number one. Check it out before they're gone. Hey, you know what? Alterna Comics have been pumping out some really good stuff. Uh, Go West, number two, came out. I love Go West, number one. Told you it was my pick of the week. Can't wait to get home and read that one. I want to take my time and read it because the first one impressed me so much. But yes, Go West, number two, is out. Pick that one up. But here's a new one from Alterna. It's called Tinseltown. It looks uh, like it's, she was a cop in the early days of Hollywood in a town where nothing was what it seemed. New five-issue limited series. I love the fact that they're all limited series as well. Uh, that means when you pick them up, there's an actual ending to the story. But that's Tinseltown. It's a beautiful cover, too. And nice for a buck fifty. You can't go wrong. Come on in. Pick up yourself a copy of Tinseltown from Alterna Comics. Then we've got a new one from Scout. We've got Welcome to Paradise. Take me down to the Paradise City where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. Why don't you please take me home? Yeah, yeah. Hey, welcome to Paradise. Didn't get a chance to read it yet. Sorry about my vocals there. I'm not always a good singer, especially when I'm dead tired. Um, but uh, this one looks like it's an interesting read. It looks like it's got some cars, some muscle dudes, and skateboarders with uh, bionic arms. Can you see that? Yeah, skateboarder with bionic arms. Looks pretty cool. Uh, if you're a fan of like like the uh, the new Ghost Rider, the, you might be a fan of this. Looks like it's got a similar art style. Uh, that's Welcome to Paradise City number one from Scout Comics. Hey, oh look, we've got the Frank Miller book. It is a Miller time. Let's all go and have a beer. Okay, see you later. Uh, oh, bad joke. Okay, but is Frank Miller and is his called Xerxes or is it Xerxes? I don't know. Xerxes? It's, nope, it's Xerxes, pretty sure. I believe it is a um, prequel. The Fall of the House of Darius and the Rise of Alexander. Xerxes. Frank Miller. Everybody loves Frank Miller until you hate him to death. Hey! Okay, so grab yourself a copy of Xerxes. Look at that wonderful art. I mean, he really shows us a lot on this cover. That's Frank Miller, right? Da -da 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 -da. Miller time. Come check out Xerxes! All right, here we go. We've got another one from Alterna. Why do I keep pushing these Alterna books? Because they're paying me lots of money to. No, not really. I wish they would. They really should. I mean, I'm always giving them a good review on their books. This one's called Zero Jumper uh, by Patrick Mulholland. Uh, looks pretty interesting. Yeah. Uh, pretty colors on the cover. Uh, didn't get a chance to read this one, but I am going to take one home so I can enjoy it in my own time, along with maybe a daiquiri and some Chipotle, because you guys know me, it's all about the Chipotle. Still waiting for all those free Chipotle coupons that you're supposed to be bringing me. Where's my Chipotle, man? Come on, bring me my Chipotle! Anyway, we've got Zero Jumper from Alterna, uh, another one of those really cool books, one in a four-issue limited series, a buck fifty each, that's $6 for an entire story. Can't even get a trade paperback for that price. There you go, buddy. Let's go ahead and get ourselves Zero Jumper from Alterna Comics. And that's pretty much all we've got today. We do have a wide selection of new arrivals here at Nerd Out. Uh, we've got the new uh, uh, X-Men, Astonishing X-Men. We've got some Archies. We've got uh, some more Scout Comics. We've got uh, Dr. Star from Dark Horse. That's actually pretty good. Guys, if you haven't read Black Hammer, Jeff Lemire... That is an awesome book. I usually review first issues or really nice covers in this show. But I tell you what, Dr. Star, Black Hammer, you will love those books. Those are some fantastic books coming from Dark Horse Comics. Then we've got uh, I Hate Fairyland, which is always a fun read. Uh, we've got this beautiful Jones cover from Justice League. Look at that. There's only a few copies left, so come on in and grab one before they're gone. Um... We got Punisher, we got Nightwing, we got the second issue of the New Mutants. Whoa, look at that, there we go, uh, Dead Souls. First issue was okay, I really didn't get uh, a good feeling about the first issue, but I mean, there's always hope. Let's go ahead and read the second one, see how that one does. Come on in, tell me about it before uh, before I read it, because I don't know when I'm going to get a chance to read that one. Uh, what else we got? We got latest issue of Snot Girl. 
We got Spider-Man with a very cool homage cover. Look at that. Yep. 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 He doesn't look too good. I believe his medical bills are about to go up. There we go. And there's Spider-Man. We've got Star Wars with C-3PO on the cover with his stanky leg. Do that stanky leg. Yeah, do that stanky leg. Yeah, look at that. See that right there? That's what Glenn called it, his stanky leg, because he's got the silver leg. Yep, let's go ahead. That's Star Wars. Oh, not forget us. We got Venom 164, the nativity. I guess it's a Christmas story. It's a heartwarming story where Venom gives gifts to little children. Doubtful. Um, let's go ahead and uh, wrap it up with one more. Hey, how about The Walking Dead? This is a very good book. The Walking Dead has been pleasing many customers for several years. The TV show is pissing a lot of people off, but that's besides the point. Um, this is The Walking Dead, issue number 178. Yes, New World Order. I was looking for Hulk Hogan. He's not in the book. I don't understand. Uh... Come check it out. Here we go. And that's about all I have for you guys. Um, oh, we've got some really cool pint-sized heroes. Look at that. Yep, Rick and Morty figures. Come and grab a little mystery bag. Who knows what you'll find. And don't forget, we've also got those really rare pop sagas. There we go, some saga pops. Yep, we've got Lion, Cat, and Prince Robot the Fourth. Come and check those out, too, before they're gone. That's right here. At Nerd Out, I'm your pal Tim. Go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. And we'll see you soon. Right here. Go in for the buzz. Ten. Oh, yeah.